Hello and welcome to this Unisensor Microsensor Lecture. My name is Lars Hauer Larsen and I am CSO here at Unisense and responsible for production and development of Unisense Microsensors. Ampermetric oxygen sensors and oxygen optrodes utilize different detecting principles and I will in this lecture discuss pros and cons to these sensor types in order to help deciding for or against one of them for a given application. Both sensor types are discussed in depth in other Unisense web lectures and therefore I will not go into details with the detection principles. Sensitivity. They do have about the same sensitivity for concentrations up to 20% oxygen or water with atmospheric oxygen saturation. Due to the detection principle of the optrode, the signal to noise ratio decreases with increasing oxygen concentrations and at higher concentrations the amperometric sensor has a better signal to noise ratio compared to the optrode. Calibration stability. The optrode is superior to the amperometric sensor in terms of signal drift. Therefore, the optrode is recommended for long-term monitoring in incubations and it is also recommended to use the optrode for our microrespiration system. Lifetime at the shelf. Both sensor types have long shelf lifetimes. Both are expected to stay functional for years. The optrode keeps its sensitivity and calibration during storage, whereas the amperometric sensor typically will change calibration due to some signal drift. Lifetime at continuous measurements. The optode dye matrix bleaches over time during continuous measurements due to the illumination pulses transmitted through the fiber to the tip. Thus, the measuring frequency is important to consider during continuous measurements because the dye receives a light pulse at every data point obtained. In contrast, the amperometric oxygen sensors is not at all affected by the data sampling frequency and the length of the period with continuous sampling. Profiling. We only recommend optodes for profiling in soft matrices. For profiling in matrices with inorganic content, like sediments, we strongly recommend the amperometric oxygen sensor due to the risk that the friction will tear off the dye slash polymer matrix from the glass fiber. Also, the conical design of an amperometric sensor makes it much more rocket for profiling compared to the slender and bendable optode fiber. Spatial resolution. The amperometric sensor can be applied with a spatial resolution which is much higher compared to the optode down to a few micrometers. Thus, if a spatial resolution higher than 50 microns is required, the amperometric microsensor is the one to choose. Operational concentration range. For measuring oxygen uh, concentration slash partial pressures, which is higher than the atmospheric saturation, we do recommend the amperometric sensor, which responds linearly up to 100% oxygen saturation. Temperature range. For measurements, at temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius, we do recommend the amperometric sensor. The dye bleeds faster at high temperatures on the optode, and thus the lifetime of the optode is compromised at high temperatures. Chemical interferences. Hydrogen sulfide interferes on the amperometric sensor signal to some extent, whereas it does not on the optical. None of the sensors are recommended to use in strong organic solvents. The membrane of the amperometric sensor can be harmed and the dye matrix on the optode can be dissolved. Electrical interferences. In electrically noisy environments, the amperometric sensor signal can, due to the tiny picoampere signal, be disturbed so the signal to noise ratio decreases. This is not the case for the optodes. Sensitivity to steering. The signal from the amperometric oxygen sensors have typically 1-2% to signal difference in stirred compared to stagnant solutions, whereas the optode is insensitive to steering properties due to the non-oxygen consuming detecting principle. Thank you for watching this Unisense Microsensor lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you are more than welcome to contact us at sales at unisense.com.